Hey Nashville Interiors, welcome to my home. I moved to Nashville with my family back in 92 and since then I can remember being inspired by Legos. I loved creating, I loved building, I loved color and scale and form. And so for this space, you know, it's, it's definitely smaller. It's about 350 square feet. And what I wanted to do was to make it feel like home and to, to really make the space feel larger. So I layered in a lot of pieces that are white which helps your eye just to continue and it helps to continue a flow. And then I brought in pieces that I love. So I have pieces that are new. I have pieces that are antique. I have vintage pieces from the seventies. And I just wanted to surround myself with things that just make me happy. One thing that you'll see throughout my home is my love for art and just original pieces. So when I lived in Chicago, I found this piece while thrifting at a thrift store called the Brown Elephant. And to me, it reminded me of someone who is a, who is dancing and fluidity in movement. These are some really special pieces that I love. This particular mirror is by a Nashville artist um, named Amy Smith. And then this mirror here at the top was actually done by one of my good friends. Uh, she found this piece of mirror that was from like 1825. And then she took it and, and framed it. I really wanted to maximize the openness and the volume within the space. So when selecting the really big, larger core pieces of furniture, I really tried to choose pieces that were neutral. So as you can see, like my sofa is light, um, my bed, which is directly across from my sofa is also light. And then I went in and I layered it with color, with texture and with pattern because it's small and because each room is open into the other, just making sure that those colors are tied throughout the entire space. When like styling and designing shelving, it's really important to balance color and scale. And so if you're looking at this, you know, this particular bookcase for an example, you'll see that I've repeated the white element and it kind of makes like a zigzag pattern down the space and then you'll also see where the pops of color are and I've tried to be really strategic in, in placement like with you know with the orange boxes the red and black piece of art you know like when I'm choosing original pieces of art it's really important to me that the work is really great but also that the artist and the heart behind it is equally as wonderful and this particular piece was done by my friend, John Matthew Moore. We could tell Nashville Interiors it's me, but that'd be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Every space is different depending on where I'm living. And so I think it's important that the architecture and the structure of where I live influences the interiors and then vice versa. For a new designer or for maybe a recent grad, I would just say, just take those chances. Like say yes, shake hands, meet, meet new people, and know that many, you know, many of us within the industry, we're all kind of in the same boat. And no matter whether we're right out of school or we've been, we're seasoned and have been, you know, in our profession for decades, we're all really wading through the same, the same things at the same time.